So they say, sharing is caring. The more you share, the more you learn. In fact, if you share it or teach someone, you learn it twice. And moreover, if you're going to continue to hold information with you, data with you, knowledge with you, after a certain period of time, it's going to get obsolete any which way in this era of information. So it's really important that we replicate people, replicate ourselves, our knowledge and other people as well. Hence, the need of knowledge sharing. And uh, there has been a debate always about how to share it. Let's figure out a way, the best way in my opinion. And I'd like to share it with you all. So keep watching. What if ISI, RAW, FBI, CIA, KGB starts sharing their operatives' details freely? What would happen? Right? So the point here I'm trying to convey is, yes, you don't need to have a proprietorship on knowledge when you're sharing it. You don't really need to look for a name tag on it. But there is certain way to share it. You just cannot share information randomly anywhere uh, to anybody, right? So what I feel is you need to have certain checks uh, before you want to share any kind of a knowledge. So before we discuss about that, we should also understand what is knowledge. Knowledge is basically information and information is basically fact figures, anything that we acquire through our, info, through our experience. So, what should we look at? Well, I happen to believe we should first understand what we are sharing, the information itself, the, the data that we are going to share. We need to ask ourselves, how critical is that data? How confidential it should be? Is it classified? Is it sensitive? These kind of a questions we need to ask ourselves. Along with that, we need to also understand the recipient of that information. When you're going to share that information, you're going to share with somebody whether that person is capable enough to handle that information. Is Are they trained? Are they mature enough? Will they be able to process that information or would they be able to use that information the right way or the intended way or good for humanity, right? So once you have answers to these questions and if you feel that it's okay to share, I would say go ahead share it around no problems but if you are not able to find answer to these questions and then you figure out that maybe the audience is not right then i would say don't share it at that point of time figure out who you want to share it with what you want to share right so you just don't want to share secrets out in the world there is a reason why they're called secret right but once you've decided to share that information I think you should never, never, ever fear about what is in it for you. Well, when you're sharing that information, you're already getting the credit because you're sharing it. You don't really need to label it. You don't need to put your name everywhere. All right? Don't have to kind of CC people on your emails when you're sharing it within your organization or within, with your people. If you are a mentor and you are working with certain individuals and if those individuals are growing I mean people will already know that uh, guys are improving and who is improving them is you so don't fear when you're sharing information you are gonna lose anything no you're not losing anything you're in fact gaining you're getting people who are gonna use the knowledge that you acquired and you've trained them the way you wanted them to be trained right then some of us also fear that if I train someone, what if they become better than us? What if they win the rat race that we are in today and we lose it? No. no. Very wrong thought. You should never think about it. If that was the case, then Sachin Tanulkar would never go out and give anybody tips of batting. Right? Where in the Sehwag would not tell anybody how to just slog any ball that comes in. So they shared their uh, techniques, their tips and tricks. And how many of uh, Indian cricketers have made hundreds of hundreds? Or how many of Indian cricketers have made like 
triple centuries consecutively or double centuries consecutively? None. I mean, they both are legends in their own way and they were confident enough and hence they were sharing it to replicate it more like them. So, don't ever fear that you will lose the race if you empower someone else with the information that you have. Always uh, share information, share knowledge in the right way, figuring out the answers to the question I just updated uh, a minute ago. Use that. I believe that's, that's really important to understand before we are sharing uh, information. And uh, I just happen to finish, write an article on this topic. I'm going to post this on uh, LinkedIn as well. Uh, maybe I'm missing one or two points while I am recording this video, but you would find everything on the article. So if you get time, watch, read that article as well after watching this video. So please like, subscribe, and share the video. Uh, I love you all. See you then again next week. Bye-bye.